Ryan, you told uh, me this week that you w were 223 coming into fight week. And that was the lightest you had been coming into fight week. You've, you've added a nutritionist. Tell me about what this weight cut was like for you and how that's going to be a big difference in this one. Uh, it was easy money. It was, I woke up this morning, had to do a little bit, which is still nothing compared to what I've had to do. Last fight, we was up for, I kept Brian, uh, Brian Hall and my brother up for like 24 hours straight trying to cut that last little bit away. This time we slept good, got up, and was like, ah, ah I'll do a little bit. And so we got the weight off. I initially wanted to be the first one on the scale just to make a point. And then I was like, yeah, that's stupid. And that's, we're going to take our time and make sure we feel good. And then I finished my weight cut, took a shower, chilled out for a little bit. And I was like, ah, let's run up there and, you know, do this little scale thing. And, you know, we feel good. And I attribute all that to uh, Eric Pena. He came in. And Mike's case, and we did a lot of work, so. Yeah, I know you good. said that uh, this is the first time you've actually had Eric as a part of your camp. Uh, how do you think this, you seem really relaxed, you know, and I've seen you on Wednesdays, you seem really calm and confident. Uh, how is this different for you this time? Oh, man, from what I heard, this moment is going to be too big for me. Don't don't say that too loud. I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah, so uh, I feel good. Eric, made, he came in. This, so we wrote worked remotely a couple times but uh and he's been in like on fight week but as far as like this camp he was came in for four weeks and he made this stuff easy like i didn't have to do anything he'll text me hey bro time to eat so i went over and ate and i was like man got my plate all nice and i can get used to this like i feel good this is this feels like this was like my first like real camp you know he, he would say bro You've been doing everything coming off the couch. Like, I've basically been coming off the couch, cutting weight, going to fight. Like, I felt like I actually trained for this one, so. I sense the sarcasm in your nervous comment. <laughs> uh, I know there's been a little heat between you and Anthony. No, don't say that, because no. it's not. It's, it haven't been. It may be on his part, but my part, man, it's, I've been chilling. Like, I ain't, ain't, so, I haven't did any interviews. I haven't, did, I don't know why, where this came from. I have no problems you know, with him and all that. So I don't know where that came from. So don't, there's been heat from his side, which whatever you got to do, whatever, I don't care. But don't, don't put that on me. Cause nobody came to me and was like, hey, how do you feel about this? Or why did you say this? Nobody did that. Like, cause I didn't talk to nobody. We did in our fight, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> we, we talked about it. Yes. And, um, but so all that said, how does this fight end? No words needed. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.